All right, family, got another great one for you. And this one is going to be titled, What Makes You Proud? Think about what I'm saying. It could touch on so many things, but what makes you proud? We're going to talk about things that make us proud. Who want to go first? I'll go first. Okay, what makes you proud? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, what makes me proud in general? Yes. What makes me proud, honestly, honestly, what makes me proud is seeing genuine people out in the world, honestly, because I was raised in a genuine home. I was raised with a father that was constantly trying to help other people all the time. We're like, daddy, you don't even know him. Like, why are you trying to help? And he's just always trying to help and our mother the same way. So honestly, it makes me proud when I see random people doing random acts of kindness or being genuine people, mm -hmm. because it just shows that mm -hmm. it's, Genuine is a trait that other people have as well. So it's a rare that quality that needs to be shown more often. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about you? Well, my family makes me proud. Yeah. I got my mom. We have our moments, mm -hmm. but there's always a comeback of um, a way of putting a smile on my face to do something positive. I mean, you could be doing something negative, but there's always a positive done thing coming towards mm -hmm. and it's yeah. what you guys do and it makes me proud yes it makes me proud of you mm -hmm. because of the man that you are Appreciate and you. that you do your part as being a man as a father so all the things that even when the little when the girls were little uh -huh. and that you made them to be who they are yes that being proud mm -hmm. and it puts a smile on my I've face i've seen plenty of days you do it like when we yes. i give you props out with jada for example right playing sports both of them Awesome mm -hmm. players, awesome in curriculum in school and awesome in sports. But let's say for sports, like I remember Jada would come home, for example, right? Because I used to always make them do pull-ups. Yes. I remember, I remember how she used to be like, "Daddy, it's ridiculous how we be in school and the gym teacher asks us to do pull-ups." I'd be like the only girl in the whole class doing pull-up, and the whole class be like, "Yeah, Jada, just do it for us. They do it for <laughs> us." I remember you cracked me up when you said. When the other girls get up on the bar and they try to do pull up, they all be doing the same thing. Their arms don't even bend. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but to look at you and see and go to your events and see just how awesome you was on the volleyball court and the softball court. Well, see how I'm like, all that hard work paid off. Look how great well, she and is. I, and, I, and, and I'm along with that, where Ashley, she made us proud also, too. Uh -huh. like putting, Putting that basket a thousand points over here. A thousand points. Exactly. And, and, and actually, also show the work that you have put in, in yes, her. Yes. And yes. that made me proud. That yes. made you proud. Made me proud. Yes. Ashley was unstoppable. Remember that one game she had the. Uh, she had. The, they was down by two, and Ashley came down the court, oh, the shot the three pointer. It was all net, yes. and it was like Wait, the clock was like two, me. three, and she shot it and made it. And when and the whole crowd was like. Ah, and they picked up and, and were dressed. <laughs> As parents, we just sitting there like, mm -hmm. that, that's a proud moment. Like, look at her. Let, let her have with her friends. But you know, she, <laughs> made, she also made the whole school proud. You know, yes. Let me tell you why. Yes, the school the was proud of you. School, the whole school knew it. No, I was but yeah. that, exactly, because they knew that you needed a certain point. Oh, you only needed, what, thing, five points? Yes. To yeah, make a thousand point, and everybody was just expecting yeah. it. And when you did that, <laughs> the whole crowd started jumping. They were they, so proud. They interrupt the game to congratulate yeah. your thousand yeah. points. Yeah, like, and, Jay, wow. and Jada, when she had her, she looked so nice. It's just bamming that ball. And oh, yeah, the whole, whole, her whole group was expecting. Exactly. And when they, she made a point and mm -hmm. scored the, that they wanted, mm -hmm. they were all proud of her. That's yeah. what proud is. Yes, there's so many things to be proud of. Like, I'm, I'm so yeah. proud of my wife, for example. I don't care what it is I'm doing. I could be doing electrical, plumbing, sheetrock, building, demolition. My wife is always very helpful, right by my side. Very present. Wi yes, willing to lend a hand. Now, like you love to say, well, Liz, I don't know nothing about electrical, but I show her what little that I can yes, you and that be helpful. Or she say, I don't know how to do this, don't know how to do that. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. Your, your presence means a lot. Just simply give me this little tool, that little tool. Like when you was helping Ashley with the basketball, you kept... I, I didn't like actually how you kept downing yourself saying, you know what, well, I'm not a good coach like you, teacher. I said, but it doesn't matter. Your presence of just giving Ashley the ball just mm -hmm. to shoot the foul shot, it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. That she ain't got to keep going and running to get it. And you was doing that. And then she wound up, remember, won the free throw contest in the whole state of New Jersey. Yeah. You know, but she came in second place. 
And, I, and it, that's very helpful. It's moments like that. Even if I'm on the bleachers or if I didn't make it, which was very rare that I didn't make it because I was always there. But it may be one or two games. Like, I didn't make the very, the, I'm, I apologize. Didn't I didn't make the thousand point, point game. game. But I was at all game. Yeah. But I, that would I miss. Yeah, you missed and the said, major one. Yeah. <laughs> but it was okay because I caught all the other ones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's so much thing. It could be it could be big or it could be even little. I'll give, I give you a little one. Take Jada, for example, right? I remember, how about this? Watch this, watch this. I remember she would do her homework, for example, right? And then I would go over her homework. And like a lot of kids, they hope that you don't go over your homework and find stuff wrong, all right? <laughs> I've seen this one video, though. It's so funny. The, the, <laughs> the parent went over the kid's homework, and the parent told them how to do the work. And when the, when the kid took the school to work to school, everything was wrong. <laughs> and so the next day, when the kid needed help, the mother was like, I'll help you. The boy was like, nah, nah, that's okay. That's okay. I don't want no help from you. Like, <laughs> but, yeah, like, I remember a time when you did your homework. Another proud moment that still resonates right now, to this day, right now, was it goes back to how it started. So, Jada was doing her homework, and then I would go over it. And then when I would go over homework, it's like, okay, that's right, that's correct. Oh, that makes sense, this and that. And then um, I would tell her, Everything is right on there, but it's sloppy as heck. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do it all over. <laughs> and she's like, but why? If everything's great, why are you making do that? Because you're not going to be giving this sloppy work. And, and she was real upset with that, but I would make her do it all over. And I remember she did a book report, and it was sloppy. Oh my God, we and, up for hours. and it was a good book report, but I said, you're going to write this all over. You're, not, you're going to get out of this habit of writing real sloppy. <laughs> now, my point with, with then and now is that I did that to her so much that even to this day, right now, when you see her write something of any magnitude, look how neat it is. And it made yeah. me look at your handwriting and go, that's a proud moment. You know what? I had to keep pushing. I had to keep pushing. <laughs> and you thought you was going to get away with this yeah. now. I'm like, no, you're going to redo that. And Ashley was the same thing. Oh, she would do a, Oh, yeah. Attention. Oh, no, your handwriting was on point. Oh, okay. It was the, it was the redundancy. Oh, it, it was the redundancy, right? Oh, yeah, the she, I always kept she, repeating she would, myself. Yeah, she would write a report, a book report, and she think just because she writing is so lengthy. I was so confident. And I was, I'll go over the book report. I'll be like, yo, you said this three, five <laughs> times. So you keep repeating yourself just to keep writing. I said, no, you, you're going to redo that again. Yeah, but daddy, won't I just erase some work? No, 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 no. You're going to do it again and do it right. Yeah. <laughs> so then when she would get it right, that was a proud moment. I'm like, hey, lessons have yeah. to be learned sometimes. You got to yeah. push them to be great, mm -hmm. greater. You know what I mean? You don't accept mediocre. That's another one of the videos. Kind of just that mediocre. But so many things you can be so proud of, of yourself when you, um, we, we see how you guys um, take life lessons, both of you. How times we being hard headed, just don't want to listen, and then when we see y'all learn from y'all lessons, it makes me and mommy proud to go. They getting it. Mm -hmm. It yeah. takes them a while to get it, but they starting to get it because you're getting older, you're getting more mature. You are starting to see for yourself. See, when you're younger, you start to be like, no, they think they know everything. They always try to tell them what to do. No, we're not trying to control you. Like we're just trying to we're help you from now. making mistakes. Sometimes you gotta <laughs> make mistakes. If everybody was holding your head for every little thing, you really not gonna learn that. Sometimes you gotta. Learn hard mistakes sometimes. And it still makes us proud to see, wow, y'all learning. Y'all getting it. Or, like a lot of parents, y'all opening up more. That means a lot to me and mommy, that y'all opening up and y'all able to talk with us. It make us go back in our room or whatever, and we talk amongst ourselves, and it'd be a proud moment. And we go, man, we, you know what I'm saying? Y'all talked a lot. You know, Ashley talked a lot, too. It's like, yeah, it, it brings doesn't feel so good. It, it brings closure, and not only that closure, it makes us proud mm -hmm. because we feel like we're part of your family. We feel like we're part of you, uh -huh. you know? Sometimes, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's like, oh, my God, I mentioned this about 20 times. Uh -huh. But in the long run, the older you guys get, and the more wiser you are going yeah. to get. When on top of that, it feels a great strength of what we put in you guys, mm -hmm. a great mm -hmm. seed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wasn't too proud. Like, when we had to go get the Sasquatch uh, sneakers, you know, you see, how big, you see how big a feet is. It was like, yo, you wear size what? Damn! That costs more money because your big feet. <laughs> well, I see how we got to which is good. 
She's my same size, so, so it's all good. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sure a lot of y'all out there have very proud moments. It's almost like our video, I love you. you. You need to encourage and tell your family members that you're proud of them, especially when they when they make achievements. Remind them how proud you are. It's just like when you was in school as an elementary kid. You know, remember the teacher would you would get a good grade in your 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 um, work, right? And the teacher would give you the smiley face. It made you proud. When you, you say, I accomplished something. Mm -hmm. My teacher gave me a smiley face. And the only thing that was more proud of than that or not as proud is when you got a smiley face and the other student came up and go, you got a smiley face? Mm -hmm. My teacher gave me two smiley faces. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, that's <laughs> dirty, dirty. Why you in two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so remind your family members um, of their achievements. And that helps motivate and push them to be even greater. Because you should always want to be greater than you were yesterday. And your only competition is not those that's out there at you. work and work with you. Your only competition is yes, yourself. like Pastor said, is yourself. Mm -hmm. You should be wanting to be greater than you were yesterday. And that will make you look in the mirror and be proud of yourself. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I forget exactly what Snoop Dogg said. They had a funny um, interview. They were like, oh, what are you proud of? He's like, I'm proud of myself. And he just kept saying that I'm yeah. proud of myself. Yeah. I'm proud of myself. He wasn't giving nobody else yeah. credit but himself. Yeah. And it's true. It's, the average person has no idea what you've been through and what hard yeah. work it took you to get where you at. They just want to be down with you now that you're successful. Mm -hmm. But they don't look at the long nights of tears and sweat and, and the hard work that you had to put in. Matter of fact, they weren't even around to help you. Even if you asked them for help, they weren't around. But now, that, you, now, now that you make it. Oh man, I'm so proud of y'all want to be, be part of your life. No, 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 no. Hey man, I can show you how to do it. I can tell you what I did. But hey, motivate, inspire, and make sure you tell each other how proud you are. Trust me. Tell them that you and love to be them. proud is a form of love. As and you well. never yeah. know, like something so yeah. simple as those words of—is it words of affirmation? Yeah, and encouragement. And everything. That, yes. You don't know that could really like make somebody's day. Yes, that's like a good point. Really, because they could really feel like it's on the edge of them just not being here no more. And all of a sudden, you, somebody say something you, positive. Somebody say like, something to you. It really could turn somebody's day around. It, yes, you know, like. that's a good point. And I, I saw actually this this um post on Instagram or Twitter. They was like people be so obsessed with like likes and stuff, but like because they didn't get a hundred, they didn't get that many likes. But imagine if you heard you got a hundred likes on your picture, but in real life you got a hundred compliments. That means a lot. A like, a yeah, I was like, wow, that that means something. Like, you don't like, okay, you got a hundred likes in, in on social media, but a hundred, I'm proud of you. Yeah, that means a lot to somebody. Comments is exactly. different. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, so encourage, inspire, make sure you tell those family members, especially uh, those little ones. You you encourage them every day to be greater than they were yesterday. Always remind them how proud you are of them and how proud they need to. Be of themselves. Remember Akilah and the Beast? One of my favorite movies. I'm always mentioning. Remember how he told her to look in the mirror? Mm -hmm. He said, you need to see and know just how great you are. Yeah. And he had her read that poem. And it was telling her how great you are. Yeah, of anyone great, reading great. that poem. And you need to always be reminded of just how great you are. And be proud of yourself. Exactly. Look at all that you have achieved. And you still got more to go. Oh my God, that was the same as if, our, you remember when we were saying he was the basketball coach, Coach mm -hmm. Carter? Remember when the whole gym, they decided to work in the gymnasium mm -hmm. and, they, and they told Coach Carter how proud they are of yeah. him? As a, he yeah. almost cried because he was he, like, wow, he was that, a really, tough guy. that really but meant a lot. Like somebody put, tell the whole team is telling me how proud that they see, are of me because that was I, it was a like, case of they really appreciated He him. cried because he was just like, like hearing those words, like. It's like a lot of people, they don't get confirmation. I'm not saying that you need it all the time, but like somebody like yourself, how you're always going hard for us. You're always going like above and beyond. Like to hear those compliments, I know it means a lot to it's you. It's me. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I mean, that's it for everybody. Mm -hmm. Be proud of yourselves out there as well. I encourage everyone around you, especially your family, to be proud of themselves as well. And on that note, peace. Subscribe, share, like, and comment. Peace. <laughs>